Christmas. Today is just going to be a random fun little video I planned for the season ahead. Every year in my family we get this fun little Christmas present, or as I like to call it, the only time I want to gamble. I am such a bad loser and uh, yeah, I already went ahead and scraped it and you know, I, I, this is the sort of thing with gambling, like a lot of people are going crazy over, you know, virtual currencies like Litecoin, like Bitcoin, whatever all their names nowadays. Um, I just can't deal with losing, <laughs> I'm really, really terrible with that. But um, yeah, I just want to have you look at this fun little thing. I could win a million Danish krona if I had just gotten one more Christmas tree, and that's the same freaking thing every year. I just can't deal with getting this. Oh, and yeah, you can just look at the rules on the back side as well. So let's see what I actually was able to get at all. As I said before, I was missing just one Christmas tree as usual. That's what they always do with these things. I think I had only six Santa heads. I think, believe I only had three reindeers. It was two drums. And I was actually really close to getting 200 Danish kroner. Yay, a bit of money for food or whatever. Uh, I had five of those. Only had two or three light Christmas. Only was it two uh, balls and one star. So that's really disappointing. You could at least hope that you had gotten just one star or two more. So you would have maybe been close to actually pay for what you paid for the calendar itself. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I just want to say, damn you Danish slaughtery spill, whatever. <laughs> it is just so annoying. But yeah, I think we want to move on with a little other more serious topics. So I hope you enjoyed the little sketch. I had kind of just wanted to, you know, get something out of my iPhone 5S. It's not the greatest camera, but I thought it looked pretty okay. Uh, I wanted to do some gameplay uh, on the Bear Sorceress. I think not too many people watched the video, and I just wanted to kind of update it a little bit with the lazy mode setup. So, um, Call to Arms, on Switch, uh, and Phoenix Monarch. It might seem a little odd, but Having a way to kind of get regenerating uh, both life and mana on Switch is pretty sweet. And then as soon as I have my columns up, I'm just gonna do a shiver armor and yeah, uh, enchant and so forth. And that's it. Since I'm wearing also Beast on the main weapon, uh, Caduceus, it also hits a decent enough attack speed breakpoint and so forth. So yeah, it's pretty sweet to both wear call times and Beast Moonward. It might seem a bit odd, because of course Griswold uh, weapon is more damage and so forth, but it really works well. And uh, the thing is, uh, this just makes it more fun for me to play, because then there is truly no uh, items that you need to switch out and so forth. And uh, yeah, even like these decent hard mobs up here, they can die. It's just really nice to see, even something like an immune to fire, immune to lightning here. It dies, you know, it's really, really sweet. Um, but yeah, imagine I had just lost a lot of life and I'm like running to the next pack or whatever. I can just do this and boom, I will get all the corpses eaten. I honestly think this is the best setup. I can't really think of a, a way to improve it more. This setup was also suggested in the comments and I kind of just wanted to do a little update for this one. Now, uh, let's move on to some bit more, uh, yeah, you can say normal things for the end of the year. You know, just some general things about the channel and so forth. Um, I think the channel has been growing somewhat okay lately. I mean, I'm not getting that much more traffic than I used to, but it's still, uh, you know, I think the content that I've put out is well received, and I think that's the most important part uh, uh, by now. Because I kind of started to, you know, like uh, video editing and kind of try to make it just a little more serious about uh, these sort of uh, aspects of uh, running a YouTube channel. It's fun to kind of learn about and yeah, I'll just try to kind of keep improving on that aspect because uh, for me that's uh, definitely a, a thing that I didn't really, you know, focus a lot on uh, just a year or two ago. So it's nice to kind of improve on the on visual aspects uh, of uh, a video making as well. But yeah, God, just look at the damage here. The uh, Holy Shagor is just so nice. I really, really can't stress how much it is much better. Uh, 
wearing uh, this setup that I'm using now for the weapons. But yeah, um, I think, don't think I need to make it much more longer than that. Again, I'm just gonna continue in the next year. Hopefully make, uh, you know, maybe consider other games and mainly just Diablo 2 as well. Um, if I can find other, you know, game ideas and so forth, I'm definitely just gonna try that out as well. I think I might do a little more Age of Empires 2. Um, might do a odd uh, other RPG now and then, such as Grim Dawn or Diablo 3 or whatever I can think about. Um, but yeah, besides that, I don't know if I'm gonna like try other games um, on the channel. Like I thought about maybe making just a silly PUBG video or something like that, because I did end up buying it like a few months ago, and it was kind of fun so far to just play that. And I did see it was uh, fully released now, so maybe I should try to actually get into the game a little more. Uh, it's definitely a fun game, even for a player like me who really never play uh, FPS games. But um, yeah, besides that, I don't think there's much more to say than that. Again, I'm just happy for all the you know the support and feedback and so forth that I gotten in this year. It's definitely been well received. Uh, a lot of my videos lately, so that's great. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, and have a very good Christmas and happy New Year.